Should I even ask? Vicky's coming over, and the second part of Brink of Disaster's coming on. Didn't she specifically avoid the first part of that? Yeah! That's why it's so cool! Wyatt, what are you doing back there? Do you really want to know the answer to that? The British are coming! The British are coming! I mean, there's certain rights involved here I happen to believe in. Well, I may not agree with everything they say, but, uh, what's the clarion rest of it? I'll defend their right to say it. Well, your ox is That's gored, and your guard it. is rocks. It's an old saying. Including the right of dissent and human rights over property rights? All right? I'm not sure. Oh, I'll have Lord. to look that up. If you ever heard such bunkum, read your constitution. There it is. My new t-shirt slogan. They always piously invoke the very constitution they want to destroy. What are we even talking about Wait anymore? Wait just a minute, John. You've got something on your shirt. Look, if we're, if we're going to have any kind of a meaningful dialogue here, then I can't let you just spell out a mouthful like that and go away and leave it, okay? Right on. Now, let me demolish your car. Right on. And, these right and after that, maybe we can take human photos of you dressed as Tinkerbell. Rights. Right on. What human rights are violated by this library being? The right to what turtle human rights study be with by my... Destroying? The right... Your mom... It'll shake people up. Call attention to other people's needs. What people? What needs? You say pre-med needs? Um, zygote? Well, pre-med only makes up one part of this university. What about the law students? The defense rests. What about the, the scientists, the engineers, the political economists? The VCR repairmen. I mean, they all have a need for... The them. shepherds, the smugglers. The property of the building was built. The, the books carefully accumulated. The mold carefully the kept. contributions of... Of thousands of people who will never even see them. And that's why we made this film, right? There what is a point to this? Older people mostly. Who gave their money for what? For what purpose? Tax write offs, duh. So that you and other young people like you today, next year, years to come, can help to find a better education, to live a better life. Objections on the what ground that makes a uh, too logical sense for this movie. Property rights from human rights anyway. Slurpees. You see, John, you don't have to own property to have property rights in it. Hmm? I don't think the professor is helping much. All right, you're studying he now. He seemed less defiant before they started talking. That means you'll be interning at some hospital around. And there you'll be working with equipment costing millions of dollars. Millions. At least you dozens of dollars. Of Two million volt X-ray therapy machine costing oversized lasers brought to you by G. Now, would it be a serious infraction of both your property rights and your human rights if that wonderful machine were destroyed? That wonderful, beautiful, machine. sexy machine. Please? Maybe I ought to give you a closer to home, more practical example of what I mean. Take what happened right here in Clovis last summer. The riots, the burning, the looting. The White Snake concert. Of stores were destroyed. Too soon? Among them, a, a drugstore, a grocery store, and a five and ten cents. And with no small amount of Those irony, a burning rebuilt. timber store. A senseless, irresponsible destruction of those properties. Next, he's going to blame hippies for the Sands Hotel to the explosion. To the people of that community. Well, that was unfortunate. You know what they say. Gonna make an omelet? You gotta break a few eggs. Oh, John. oh Johnny, you yeah. and your ham fisted cookie cutter food analogies. The They're not talking about just breaking a few little eggs. They're talking about smashing human lives. And not and just any the, the human right lives, descent. Americans. The right of dissent in America. You realize how much dissent you would dare voice if you lived in Russia or, or China, one of the other communist countries that they profess to admire so much? Wait, one little hippies admire Russia? They do. They really do. The right of descent is a very real and precious part of them. On a four-minute mile. Power has helped bring about some of our most cherished social and economic advances. Like the Yugo and the salad spinner. But even in America, the right of descent is not the right to destroy. I mean, if a goal is holy, you only debase it in the eyes of the world if you, if you stoop to unholy... Oh, Joe, sorry. We just left the cameras on and went to lunch. You what are you guys talking about? Free speech and unholy act. Free speech. It's a beautiful concept that's been deliberately fouled up. Freedom of speech is now freedom of filth. Freedom, freedom of filth. filth. Freedom of filth. filth. Freedom <laughs> of filth. Bullets. I mean, words never hurt anybody. John, if you believe that, you are nuts. Ah. 
Ow, Words that are hurt. Words less lethal. They have hurt plenty. Do you remember the crowd in the street looking up at the man on the, the ledge of a tall building? I don't know. Can you Inside, be more vague? His wife and his priest were pleading with him to come back in. And down below, the crowd was chanting. Freedom of jump, filth. Jump. Jump. Go ahead and jump. Jump. Bam, bam, bam. You know what happened? An elephant ride? He jumped. The words killed him. And the landing. The but mostly the words. Shouting those words were murderous. And what's happening on high school and college campuses, eh? Not a prom for this guy. Newton, I can tell you that that's much. That's the only thing I agree with. Black folks are trying to loot when they should be shooting. If you're gonna loot, loot your gun. Still. Did he just want us Rattle to Rattle eat Rattle a gun? Brown, what? Calling on student bodies to carry guns. Um, the defense rests. Well, as you can see, words breed guns and more guns. They can see this from the library? Bombs and killing. I believe that we're on a collision course with wackiness. Filthy language, no decent person would speak. Filthy books and magazine, no decent person would read. And don't get me started on peanut butter Snickers bars. Evil. All of this film. To what purpose? It's fun. Fast buck, I suppose. It's a trap. No, no, that's not the purpose. That's the the lure. Lure. L-U-R-E. If only we had a dictionary or something. Let's go see if the library is open. And the destruction of this country. See, our enemies, headed and masterminded by worldwide communists... Don't you have, like, a family or something? They can't destroy us from without until first they weaken us from within. So the one guy that really isn't doing anything is the one guy who gets lectured by everyone? They think they can do it. They have every reason to think so. Run for it, Marty! Historian Arnold Toynbee points out that's how 19 out of 21 nations have gone down the drain before us. Internal decay. Coincidentally, he was also a dentist. Ethical and religious principles. That's what I tried to tell The him. lymph cells work with Al-Qaeda. Ragtags have to deny God. So, do you think that guy is going to trip and fall down the stairs? Of decency, then they won't go along with what these lowlives want to do. To create an atmosphere of general acceptance to all kinds of... The generation. Do I really have to listen to this? I sell their propaganda. But there's a funny Blue. game show on or something. The fast buck, huh? It's lure enough for certain types of publishers. Mad Magazine, Producing. Cracked, Filth Weekly. Then for the younger generation, the lure, of course, is... Heck, there's sex. even a magazine called The Fast Buck. Because it makes light of marriage and breaks down the institution of the home quicker than anything else. Except for Silly Putty. Instead of young people love, should pay for sex like our forefathers did. What's the old saying? It's, Why gore the ox the when the platypus up. sings a cappella? Or as long as you pay the bill. Or until uh, someone else comes along that I like uh, just as much. Wow. He's really running the full gambit here, uh, isn't Doc, he? Your bucket won't hold water. Come again? Whoa. You paint the. Uh, Paint three sex too black and married sex too white. I'm sorry. I thought we already had the racism part I of the debate. But what do you think? Your own university doesn't agree with you. The college encourages rapid yes. sex. So Here's what college is this again? I know what it says on page 27, or rather, what it doesn't say. It says 27, and it only took two years. Take that, Russia! Two years ago, the students demanded and got student representatives on various governing boards. And soon after, the rule was changed to permit men and women to room in the same dormitory. This has just gone off now, totally year, in left field. What does any of this have to do with burning down the, the library? Rule against cohabitation, what does any of this have visiting. to do with anything? So whether you like the idea or not, Doc, a lot of us guys and gals think that uh, sleeping together because you, you want to is a lot better than sleeping together because you're supposed to. So all no the riots outside are, are because of a co-ed dorm say. policy? Oh, there are no hypocrites in this free love commune of yours, huh? Come on, get off the of John. Get off the of John? You know, these guys are only in there to grab what they can as long as it's free, with no responsibilities on them, no protection for the girl, no commitments to each other. They know that a marriage license means a, a legal contract. John sure doesn't look like a member of the well, Green it Party. It's nothing. I don't think you understand what the Green Party is. For years we had a football coach here, Coach Bland. And he's the reason I, reason I came here instead of state. Wait. Well, I looked up to Coach Bland, not only as a coach, but as a man. Is this the sequel to Basketball uh, Fix? Last year he signed a new five-year contract. With Pittsburgh. 
I mean, this year, the Pittsburgh. Pros better and bam, like a rabbit, he takes off. Well, he jumped his contract, his legal contract, and left us just like that. <laughs> so don't talk to me about honoring contracts, hmm? John, you have every reason to admire Coach Blandon. He's every inch the man you thought he was. Wait, what? Sometime when you're not engaged with that cigarette. This? Yeah, it is marijuana, isn't it? It's only a question of time before it's legalized. Bam! Yeah. Green Party. It's not smack, you know. I don't go for heroin. No, no one Oh, good. Goes so now we're on heroin. drugs. But nearly everyone on heroin started with marijuana. Just like everyone That's on whiskey there started with want to legalize milk. marijuana. We figure if they can get the young people of this country on the hard drugs, they can destroy your generation. It's not that I object generation. to the professor's point as not, much as I tight. object to his hair. The drugs have already gotten a frightening hold in this country, mostly on our young people. Drugs are the reason why our crime rate is climbing ten times faster than our population. Well, this is a nation that's in serious trouble. We need Superman or maybe Sam Adams. Young people for all of it. Wake up over there. Have you ever heard of unemployment? Most young people can't even buy jobs. For years we've been told, get a college education. To get good jobs you need an academic degree. Wow, that guy's academic really degrees. astute for a guy who's been smoking be pot in his library all home. night. Yeah, by the time the rioters come in, he'll be like, this Oh, hey guys, shape. bring well, it on! We never made. <laughs> oh, and America wants to make love, not war. <laughs> wow. Well, so who doesn't? We didn't start the fire. They still went the world's been burning as the world's been turning. And all the while, the national debt's going up and up and up and up. And you want to cop out and leave it at the legacy the lights. of our generation. It's to time people. for majesty. You bleed My about this country being in serious trouble. He's got me there. Oh, up, Maybe God. I should apply for one of them high-paying the war brain. jobs. Down the drain. You talk about an America that, that no longer exists. You're wrong, sir. As long as Louisiana territory remains undivided. What did you say? Huh? I said sit down. Those are our commandos out there. They're in the building now. On top of all this, they're going commando? I reckon the place don't, don't try it, Doc. Don't be a hero with a broken head. Hero with a broken head. You know what they'll do to all of you for doing this. Huh? They will likely be hanged, then shot, then Nothing. killed, then they never do. We're legal dissenters, didn't you know? Legal dissenters tearing up a public library. You hear that out there? They got warmed up by There's watching the Raiders do it. Don't fool yourself into thinking that we're just a few. <laughs> no, we've got chapters on more than 200 campuses. Sure, they're mostly culinary schools, but still... There's a bunch of them right out there. Some on your faculty. But you keep believing it. You keep saying it's only a few. It helps you sleep anymore. By gum, I do it's sleep better. Doesn't do anything, doesn't it? So what are they rioting against? Your beautiful gullibility. Your stupid do-nothing about it. That all helps us wreck your establishment. Baby, we are the new revolutionary. Like Boy George or Dukakis. Jonathan, where'd you get that? I made it out of a bunch of with? dumb old books. Nope. Found it in the museum. No powder shot, though. Mexican standoff. I promise you, you and your commandos will pay for this. No way. If we had to pay for wrecking things, we had to stop long ago. I am just so confused right now. So, Sam Adams is a figment of his imagination? I don't think so. The professor was talking to him too. Gotta do what you say. Ghost rules. Colony chop. So he was knocked out by his own hallucination. Becoming a part of that wrecking crew. After an hour of sitting in the library, this suddenly becomes do? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. No time to think. I'm just mad that we sat here for all this time, and it's just now getting interesting. And I bet it's going to end. Time left. You on the hook for moiter? Here's Johnny! No, Whoa, Sam Adams time. sees us! Even the camera is shaking its head. What does the professor do? Will this be the end of heavy-handed propaganda films? Find out next time! So, why do you think Vicky hates that movie so much? Maybe she just really loves libraries. I think it stems from the fact of the constant fear between man versus nature. I, I, I would own a, a woodchuck! Mm -hmm.